Hashtag goalie friendly show. Look, we moved the goalpost a little bit for this one because he's 23 years old, but the development for Mad Sogard should be considered prospect still. And Mad Sogard comes in at number two. Look, he was a second round pick in 2019 for Ottawa. He is a guy who moved up. The Ottawa Senators moved up to get him. They saw value. He's a big boy, six foot seven. And he's a guy who's always been working to find his consistency. The hardest thing for a goalie to find is consistency. In the AHL, Pilsy, I think he found that this year. Yeah, and he found that this weekend. Uh, definitely as this weekend, he had two wins, a 925 save percentage and a 963 save percentage. So definitely that was successful for Matt Sogard. You love to see that. And yeah, as, as you can see, if you're watching on YouTube, 10, 5, and 2 record which is easily his best record in the AHL. And nope. Oh, remember? Oh, when he no, came? true. Never mind. Yeah, I got to scroll up a little. Seven yeah. and oh, when he started. So not even close. I said easily his best record, not even close. That's a dash one for me on that. Um, but yeah, Matt Sogard, look, we believe in him. Brady Kachuk believes in him. The Ottawa Senators traded up to draft him. Obviously, the, the old regime believes in him. And look, this is a franchise where the crease has not been kind to them ever since Craig Anderson has left. you got to put stock in a big goalie that can move like Mad Sogard does. And I really think there's going to be a day where he's going to be a major piece for the Ottawa Senators' success story. And if you trade him, he's going to be Ben Bishop. You just, can, you just know he's well, going to be Ben Bishop. Or even like what happened recently with Gustafson, right? Like maybe maybe you want to keep a guy like Gustafson if you're not confident in your goalie. So you want to have a guy like Mads if you're not confident in your current NHL duo, which I would say is fair to say right now. Now, the interesting part with him is, look, and, and maybe Anton Forsberg is good to go, but would you subscribe to the fact that maybe leaving Mads in the AHL for the rest of the year is the right yep. choice. Yep. Yep. I, I think 100% that's the right choice, not only for his development, Ross, but to Belleville's got to get to the playoffs. Those guys need uh, a taste. And some of the top guys we've mentioned here, they need to experience playoff hockey. And I just think I've said it a million times. So I'll just say it shortly. I don't want the same up and down development that Philip Gustafson went through to happen to Mad Sogard here. So I think it's clear, Ross, that he thrives in the AHL and could use consistent starts and isn't quite ready to make that jump to the NHL yet. Could not agree more. I'd rather see Mando. I'd rather see Levy at the NHL level and just let let Mads do his thing down there and get the Senators to a position where they are a team to be reckoned with in the uh, in the national or in the AHL this season. Because if you look at it, Mads' is save percentage, everything is just it just screams. Um, top end talent right now in the American Hockey League. If you look at qualified goalies, team guys who have played enough games this season in the AHL, he's right up there in a tie for third best save percentage in the American Hockey League. So he only played 22 AHL games last year. He's already at 18 this year. Look, he was split between NHL, AHL, NHL, AHL. And then obviously yep. when the injuries happened for sure, ends up playing 19 games at the NHL level. So he's a guy where it's like, He's already played 25 NHL games. Like uh, that's too much for me at this point. He's played 82 in the AHL. Let's get that to hundred this yep. year. And then like, for me, this is, he's an RFA after this summer. To me, I give him one of those two year deals where the second year is one way. Love it. And yep. then uh, this is a huge summer. That's a big carrot kind of dangling for him. Chase it. He needs to be ready to go next, next training camp to be an NHLer for me. Um, I'm not sure when he needs waivers. Obviously, with the games played, it might be a little bit different. But Mad Sogard still got a ton of faith in him. Look, we even we even discussed putting him at number one on this list because if yep. he develops into the ceiling that we believe he has, I think he's going to be a starter in the NHL level. I really do. I think that the combination of athleticism and size and um, it's just about getting his consistency and mental game to a point where he can let in a bad goal, shake it off, and be right back at it. But Mad Sogard comes in at number two on our list of top 10 Senators prospects. 